Shining at the life of others. We are supposed to get us also trust in your name. This music team that we need us in our worship. Fill this place with your Holy Spirit. Pour more of your Holy Spirit to be in the prayer of us in inside this church that we could lead us uh, in worshiping you with the Spirit and in truth. This was a big part of Thank you. Thank you so much also uh, for the life of our children, our teachers, as we continue to grow up our spirit and our name. As also I will include in our prayer, those uh, professing Christians that they are just taking for granted the words of salvation, the glory that you could bring them in your kingdom. Hallelujah. But in our Tinagan Bo, as always be reminded that everything we do, you are the center of it all. Thank you for all the divine providence that comes from the Lord Jesus. This is the asking for the Lord Jesus Christ of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's remain standing as we praise and worship the living God. Are you excited to praise the Lord? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. The Bible says in Psalm 100, verse 5, For the Lord, the Spirit is God and those forever. His faithfulness continues for all generations. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, we thank you for you. Your presence, all our fears are washed away. 
And so we say, Lord, as we come to you this morning, Lord, as so our hearts is say, Lord, Lord, open up the sky, Lord. We want to know you more, Lord, God. We want to see your glory, Lord, God. Oh, we love you, Lord.
You will never stop working out of much to the Lord. You will never wish to stop working out of saying, Lord, that you are good in our life, Lord God. Hallelujah. We praise your name forever, Lord.
We give all the glory, honor, and praises unto you. We pray for your word, the message that we have today. We pray that you will anoint the uh, message comes from you, comes from your word today, O oh Lord. We thank you for your uh, work in our lives. And as we pre prepare our heart, our mind, our body to receive your word and worshiping your holy name. We give all the glory, honor, and praises unto you in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us go directly to the word of the Lord. Our text for today is Colossians chapter 1 verse 9 to 12. Hallelujah. Praise God. So, Colossians chapter uh, 1 verse uh, Nine to twelve. It says here, for this reason, also since the day we heard this, we have not stopped praying for you. We are asking that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding, so that you may walk worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing to Him, bearing fruit in every good work, and growing in the knowledge of God. May you be strengthened with all power, according to His glorious might, for all endurance and patience with joy, giving thanks to the Father who has enabled you to share in the same inheritance in the light. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Here's the uh, uh, prayer of uh, Paul during his imprisonment. So I, I give the title for this a prayer, a, a prisoner's prayer. Hallelujah. A prisoner's prayer. We can see that Paul, uh, everywhere, he ministered to the people. And uh, we can see him uh, praising God, uh, praying for the people, not for himself. But the center of his prayer is prayer for the Colossians believer. So we can see here a prisoner's prayer. Hallelujah. Praise God. Sometimes we have the pastoral prayer. Uh, sometimes we have the partnership prayer. Uh, there are so many, many forms of prayer. But here the Apostle Paul is praying inside the jail. Hallelujah. Praise God. In every situation, in every circumstances in our life, we should always seeking God. Amen. So Paul, uh, he has prayer, or he had prayer for the saint, for the uh, believers in Colossians. Hallelujah. Praise God. So. Uh, the, the, the situation in, in Colossians at that time, there are so many false teachers who are arising. They uh, scattered the teaching of knowledge, understanding, and wisdom. That's why Paul, using this prayer for the believers in uh, Colossians, and uh, this kind of teaching during that time in Colossians, they are really, really affected. And uh, they, some, some of them are deceived. So they are trying now to uh, depart from the uh, teaching, from the gospel of the Lord. So we can see here 
the 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 prayer of Paul the centered his prayer on the problem first he prayed for spiritual intelligence hallelujah he prayed for spiritual intelligence for the Colossians believer hallelujah intelligence means the ability to acquire and apply knowledge and skills hallelujah so uh, this is the, the 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 meaning and the other one is uh, 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 ability to learn or understanding to deal with new or trying situation yeah. the ability to learn and understand or deal with new or trying situation so this is uh, the, the prayer he prayed for intelligence hallelujah for the Christian believers in Colossians so that the oh thank you praise God for that uh, discerning hallelujah <laughs> Glory to God. The, 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 the gift of the Lord is uh, manifesting. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Glory. Hallelujah. So, uh, this is the, the meaning uh, of, of the, the intelligence. Comes from Google. Mm. Hallelujah. Praise God. So, uh, we can see here the Paul's teachers, they are promised to the Colossian believer that they will be in the know. They, they are uh, having for, for knowing. Uh, so, they are trying to, to uh, uh, mix in the, the, the teaching of Paul for them. So, uh, in this situation, the the the, the uh, knowledge uh, or the uh, word like knowledge, wisdom, and spiritual understanding were a part of their religious vocabulary. So Paul used this word in his prayer. So sometimes, uh, uh, if we want to deal with those false teaching, how can we deal with that? one of the member of Jehovah Witnesses come to our house, come to our home, and we discuss about the Holy Spirit. And I show in Chan that uh, uh, addressing the Holy Spirit, He. That's why I said, if you call He, it is a person, but insisting to be. This table, I can call he or him. If you will not know the gender, you will call him or us. Our our uh, uh, grammar or that uh, we use the uh, things it, but for them it's not addressing it, but they call him or her so this table he said i call him and i said yes you can call him i go with him with her i go with her oh that's right you agree with me yeah then, then i said yes i go I, I agree with you but if we go to the person of the holy spirit it's not the same with that this table, there's no feelings at all. Mm -hmm. But the Holy Spirit has. Don't grieve. The Holy Spirit has a feelings. Yeah. I said to her, really? Yes. <laughs> so, I, 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 I go with her, with her teaching. But I directly uh, divert his teaching to the truth. So, I said, yeah, this table, there's no 
desire no more but the Holy Spirit has so we are we are going to comparison there's will in the Holy Spirit on this table there's no will I said that's the difference between the things or that uh, you call this table him and compared to the Holy Spirit. So we can go with them. You will not defeat them. We, 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 you cannot argue with them with your doctrine, but go what they are telling. So I go with her. Then suddenly she goes and suddenly changed the topic. Corner na siya. Sabi ko, it's okay. Kung ayaw mong tanggapin yung teaching, then go ahead. So, uh, sometimes, Paul, he's not arguing with them. But he go what they are talking about. So, his prayer is he prayed for intelligence. Hallelujah. For the Christian believers in Colossians. Satan is so deceptive. Uh, he likes to borrow Christian vocabulary. You word natin. Hallelujah. Mag-hallelujah rin yan. Kukutsay ka. Ito na naman yung mga hallelujahs brother. <laughs> hallelujahs sister. Praise the Lord sisters and brothers. Huh? Oh. Sometimes we are argue with them, but Paul he is not argue with them, but he go what they are talking about. He prayed. Hallelujah. That's why uh, we can see here uh, uh, that the, the Paul's, Paul's teacher, uh, they are using this before. They have adopted this term, the word to uh, trying to deceive the, 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 the Colossians believers. But thank God, hallelujah, for the report of Epaphras uh, in, in, in uh, Colossians chapter 1, verse 3 to 8. Mm. We always thank God for the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ when we pray for you when we pray for you for we have heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of the love you have for all the saints because of the hope reserved for you in heaven you have already heard about this this hope in the message of truth the gospel that has come to you it is bearing fruit and growing all over the world, just as it has among you since the day you heard it and recognized God's grace in the truth. You learned this from Epaphras, our much loved fellow slave. He is a faithful minister of the Messiah on your behalf, and he told us about your love in the spirit hallelujah so this is the report of epaphras during the time uh, paul he, he is in jail so epaphras that's why uh, you can see uh, paul surrounded by many many pastors many many workers surrounded himself you know what the secret you surrender your you 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 will surrounded yourself by the people who are always available amen hallelujah that's why that's why sometimes uh, i told brother Chris, sorry. brother Chris, can you preach this coming saturday ah, i preach brother Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Pastor Army, can you go to Brooks with Pastor Jordan? Amen. 
Hallelujah. You will surround yourself with the people who are always available. So, as a tulungan si Paul at that time, and they need a pastor in Colossians. So, Paul sent uh, Epaphras. Sometimes we heard Paul has Timothy. But we do not heard always Epaphras. Who's Epaphras? Hello, sir, but Hello, hello, slave. Co-minister. A friend of a uh, 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 So, he has Titus. Who's Titus in his life? Titus is always organizing the church. Titus always uh, working with the uh, problem of the church. That's why if you hit, if you try to read the the book of Titus dealing with the problems, dealing with the organizing, uh, and we heard we did not heard Philemon, who's Philemon for him. His friend before he's useless, but now very useful for him. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. So Paul surrounded himself by those people who are always available to work with him. Hallelujah. So we did this. Hallelujah. Praise God. So uh, Nag-report itong si Si Epaphras We always thank God The Father of our Lord Jesus Christ When we pray for him We have heard Hallelujah Praise God You know what There are so many people who are praying for us Amen Hallelujah They are praying for us I always tell him to those who are, I know, that they are going uh, <laughs> in prayer. So I said, can you pray please for books? Amen. Can you pray for the workers? Can you pray for the members of Grace Assembly? Hallelujah. They are the ones who work for this to plant the church in books. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. So, we can see here the report of uh, uh, Epaphras. So, next one is uh, there is much more to learn from him. Jesus and about him. In Matthew chapter 8 verse 27. The men were amazed and asked, what kind of man is this? Even the winds and the sea obey him. The disciples, they did not really know who is Jesus in their lives. And they said, the men were amazed and asked, what kind of man is this? Even the winds and the sea obey him. Hallelujah. This is our Lord Jesus Christ. He command the wind stop and then stop it. It's really calm. Just not like Kriboy says, you stop. <laughs> But our Lord Jesus Christ command the wind and the sea to obey. Hallelujah. The, 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 the sea will be calm and the wind will be stopped. So we can see here that we need to know Him. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And uh, uh, we need to know more and learn more uh, about our Lord Jesus Christ. 
Amen. Hallelujah. That's why I learned this. If you work and work and work and work and work, and the salary comes, and you say, it's not enough. But if you gave space for God to work in your behalf, and then you will see, wow, the Lord bless me. Hallelujah. Even I have, I have no, uh, I, I, I did not work for the whole week. Hallelujah. So my prayer is this, Lord, Iyan ay yung mangdagitan ng mangdisturbo ti pinansya. Ah, hallelujah. Praise God. Kung tang mangdagitan ng umay mang mangririnok ti pinansya ni. Praise the Lord. Ah, dahil ting man oras ko kag itin kukin ka. Hanap man ng panagtagtarabaho. Praise the Lord. I did not teaching you to become lazy. Hallelujah. But I'm teaching you how can you see God provide your needs. Amen. Hallelujah. You need, we need to know Him more. Hallelujah. Praise God. Sabi ng Panginoong Diyos, Mangulo tayo, Unin na lang ninyo yung kat, Ayan ninyo kainin. E yung buhay pa, Buha ng sobra. Ano nangyari? Oh, this point. Hindi <laughs> nila nakain. So, oh, sometimes the Lord teaching us and He want us to grow in this aspect of life. Amen. Hallelujah. Try me, the Lord says. Hallelujah. Don't be afraid. Try the Lord. Amen. Alam niyo, namuhay ako na wala akong pera. Sanay ako na walang pera. Kaya hindi ako takot. Dahil nasanay ako na walang pera. Kaya kapag ka nakatanggap ako ng isang daan, ang saya-saya ako na. Mababaw lang naman yung kaligayahan ko. Sangkup lang nga. Diba? <laughs> Masaya na ako. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So, we need to learn more and see what God has done in our life. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Paul saying, you only need to grow in the experience you have already had. Amen? We need to experience God in our lives. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That's why I, I, when I said to my wife, Praise God, sweetheart. I have more time for the Lord. <laughs> why? We are not working on Friday. Hallelujah. It's our day off. What? <laughs> don't be afraid. My my God is big than our needs. Hallelujah. My my God is the one who provides all our needs. Hallelujah. That's why when we come here with my daughter, we have only uh, two luggage, but the Lord provides. Amen. Alam mo yan, pag uwi ako sa Pilipinas, iuwi ko na yung binigyan ng Panginoon, hindi ko na ilalagay sa luggage. Hindi na, maka, hindi na makakarga ng aeroplano. Diba? Ganun mag-provide ang Panginoon? Sino sa inyo nagdala dito ng kaldero? Ah, ah meron, meron. <laughs> Sabi nila sa akin, Magdala ka ng magdala, magdala ka ng ganito. Ay, sabi ko, the Lord will provide. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. If you learn the word, the Lord will provide. The Lord will work in your behalf. Amen. We need to learn more. We need to experience God in our lives. Hallelujah. Ito na naman yung boy. 
Si Pablo. Ano mo si Pablo? Di mo maganda. Kapag ka na-encourage ka sa isang tao, yung encouragement na yan, kahit patay na yung tao, na-encourage ka pa rin. Di ba? Yun yung ginagawa ng Panginoon sa atin. Patay na sila Abraham, pero na-encourage pa rin ako kay Abraham. Praise God. Hallelujah. Wala na sila Moses, pero na-encourage pa rin ako sa kanila. Yun yung ginagawa nila. They left us legacy. Amen. Hallelujah. That's why we need to look and learn more. We experience God in our life. Hallelujah. The next one is, praise God. When a person is born into God's family, by faith in Jesus Christ, he is born with all that he needs for growth and maturity. Amen. You are the one who provide. Amen. Hindi ikaw yung bibili ng gatas para gatasin mo. Ang Panginoon, siya yung magbibigay, maghahanda. He, when he, when he is born with all, he needs to grow and mature. Amen. And the next is, the Bible also describes the birth of Okay. Tignan nga natin ito. Bakit? Kailangan ko bang may panganak ng dalawang beses? Praise God. Human can produce, reproduce human life. Amen. Ito yung binigyan ng Panginoon sa atin. Magkakarami kayo. But the Holy Spirit gives you life. Amen. And tignan natin. The next is, every believer needs to have the knowledge of His will. Amen. Hallelujah. Parang may kulang yun ha. Uh, dito, ang dito naglagay doon, doon sa outline natin. Ang dito yung uh, sabi rito, uh, bago tayo mapunta dyan. Uh, the Bible describes also Uh, two words, human can reproduce human life, but the Holy Spirit gives you life from heaven. So, to have one word means to die twice. Uh, dalawang beses daw tayong mamamatay kapag ka naipanganak lang tayo ng minsan. Yan. Dalawang beses daw tayong mamamatay. Mamamatay ka sa physical, mamamatay ka sa spiritual. Kaya ang punta mo, impyerno. <laughs> so, uh, to have one word means to die twice. The believers will suffer both physical and spiritual death. Uh, that is uh, Hebrews chapter 9 verse 27. To have two words, itong maganda, to have two words means to die But once, the believers will never die spiritually. Nakuha ninyo mga kapatid. Hallelujah. So magandang may panganak kang muli sa kaharian ng Panginoon. Human can reproduce life, but the Holy Spirit gives new life. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. So the next is... Uh, Every believer needs to have knowledge and of his will. Romans chapter 12 verse 2, Acts chapter 22 verse 14, and Colossians chapter 1 verse 9. What's Romans 12:2? We will see Romans 12:2. Uh, Romans 12:2. Do not be conferred to this age, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, so that you may discern what is the good, pleasing, and perfect will of God. Hallelujah. In order to know the will or the perfect will of God, do not be confirmed, but be transformed. Hallelujah. You are not a conformer. 
but you are a transformer. Amen? Hallelujah. Praise God. So, we will know the perfect will of God. And the next is, uh, 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 Acts, Acts 22, 14. Then he said, The God of our fathers has appointed you to know his will, to see the righteous one, and to hear the sound of his voice. Hallelujah. To know his will. He appointed us. Hallelujah. So we need to know his will. What's the will of God in our lives? The will of God in our life, generally, He wants us to be with Him forever. Amen. Hallelujah. So, the next is at, uh, at Colossians. We go in Colossians verse 9. For this reason also since day we have heard, we, we heard this, we have not stopped praying for you. We are asking that you may be filled with the knowledge of His will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So, we can see here that the Lord wants us to know. Hallelujah. Ito yung maganda. Kilalanin mo akong mabuti sabi ng Panginoon. Wala akong sekreto. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. Alamin mo kung sino ako at patutunayan ko sa iyo na siya ako yan Ayan. Amen Praise the Lord So we need to know the will of God in our lives Hallelujah Praise God So as we study His word and pray we discover new and exciting truth about God's will for His people Amen Hallelujah. To be built, to be filled means to be controlled by when we are filled with anger, we are controlled by anger. Tama ba yun? Kapag galit na galit ka, kontrolado ka ng galit. Kapag ka nagmamahal ka, kontrolado ka ng pagmamahal at pag-ibig. Praise the Lord. Kapag ka nagmamahal ang isang tao, hindi mo pwedeng pagbawalan niya. <laughs> Kaya mong patigilin ang alon ng dagat, pero yung nag-umiibig, mahirap yan. Aawayin ka niyan. Praise God. Hallelujah. So, if we are controlled by the anger, maraming masisira. Pero, sabi dito, we are filled with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. We are filled with knowledge. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Be filled with the Spirit means to be controlled by the Spirit. Paul's prayer is that these believers might be controlled by the full knowledge of God. Hallelujah. So, alamin natin ang ating Panginoong Diyos. Kilalanin natin ang Panginoong Diyos. Kapag sinabi niya, pagpapalayan ka niya, pagpapalayan ka niya. Amen. Praise God. Pero, kung minsan, wala naman. Sabi nila, may pagpapala. Wala naman. Hintayin mong mag-snow, magpapala ka. <laughs> o yan. Pagkagalitan ka pa kung ayaw mong magpala. <laughs> so, the Lord is really gracious God. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't be afraid. Be filled with the Spirit. Hallelujah. And we are controlled by the Spirit. And if we have full knowledge, uh, we are controlled by the knowledge. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. How can believers grow in this, in the full knowledge of God's will? 
So Colossians verse chapter 1 verse 9. So sabi dito, Colossians chapter 1 verse 9. And so from the day we heard, we have not ceased to pray for you, asking that you may be filled with knowledge in His will, in, in all spiritual wisdom and, and understanding. Hallelujah. So, uh, ito ko yung sinasabi ng Panginoon sa akin. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The, the Holy Spirit teaches, teaches us we submit to Him. As we pray and sincerely seek God's truth, He gives us through the Spirit the wisdom inside that we need. Hallelujah. The generally will of God. So, the generally will of God or His children is given give clearly in the Bible. In John chapter 5 verse 39. What's the, the message in John chapter 5 verse 39? Hallelujah. You pour over the scripture because you think you have eternal life in them. Yet they testify about me. Amen. We need to search. Huh? Basahin din natin yung salita ng Panginoon. We need to read our Bible. That's why the child, we, we teach the children, Read your Bible, pray every day, pray every day, pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day, and you grow, 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 and you grow, grow. And you grow, grow, grow. Read your Bible, pray every day, and you grow, grow, grow. You can't see pray. Read your Bible. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. If we know our Bible, we will, the Lord will bless us. Amen. Hallelujah. The, we, 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 we need to know the generally uh, will of God in His children. Amen? Hallelujah. The specifying, the specific will of God for any given situation must always agree with what He has already revealed in His Amen. word. Amen. Hallelujah. Yung nangyayari ngayon sa buhay mo, naaganap na. Hundred, hundred thousand years ago. Kung nawawala ka ng pangangailangan, naaganap na minsan sa ibang tao. But the Lord provide for her. Amen. Di mo man nabayabayaran yung utang mo. Nangyari na minsan yan sa lumang tibaan. Even he, she will sold her two sons. She will not pay the debt of his husband. The specific will of God for any given situation must always agree with what he has already revealed in his world. Word, hallelujah. So we need, we need to know, hallelujah, the will of God, hallelujah. The better we know God's general will, the easier it will be to determine His specific guidance in daily life. Amen, hallelujah. Planting church is not easy. Planting church is not busy. You need to sacrifice. When we are going to to Edmonton, if, if, uh, every Sunday we will go there. We
We need 200 bucks for our expenses. It's not including our offerings. So, sometimes there's five Sunday. You will go in there. Then you will calculate. Ako sira na yung calculator, di pa na. Kasi nasisira na, kasi apektado na yung pinansyal natin eh. Di ba? But thank God, my wife told me, we will build our altar in Edmonton. Hallelujah. That's why every time, every Sunday, we will go there because our altar is in Edmonton at that time. So we need to go because our altar is there. Pag-ilipat ko kaya yung altar natin dito ngayon sa loob ng bahay. Hindi dito na tayo sa loob ng bahay. Diba? So, church planting. Pag nag-plant ka ng church at pinabayaan ng mga matay. So, meaning to say, there's life. There's life in church planting. Alagaan natin yan. Kapag ka hindi mo naalagaan yan, mamamatay. Ihinto yung gawain. That's why we need. Hallelujah. And the Lord, His will, kahit mamatay daw yung kanyang workers, kahit mamatay daw yung kanyang trabahador, yung, yung, yung pastor, kahit mamatay, ang kagawain ng Panginoon, magpapatuloy. That's the will of God. And how can we continue the work of God if we are not mentoring others? We need to mend to others. Alam mo yan, para may papalit. Meron na naman tayo ng pastor na namatay. So, sabi natin, yung kanyang gawain, sino magpapatuloy? Ang anak niya. Kung ayaw ng anak niya. So, ang asawa niya. Kung ayaw ng asawa niya. So, the Lord will provide workers. Amen? But He needs to teach before he will use. Amen. Maliban kay Pastor Alpino, Diyan ka na magpalasan, Pastor! Ito na nung magpalasan mo hanggang mapan. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! That's the word of wisdom. Go and preach the gospel. Praise God. And after that, sabi niya, Pastor, may service me. Hallelujah! Mapagkang tumanan mo na, Pastor. Praise God! Hallelujah! So, May moto kasi, kapag kasi sinabi niya, hindi ko alam, that's the time na mag-umbisa na, na alam na niya. Amen. Meron akong pastor doon sa Pilipinas noon. Halika, hindi tayo doon. Please, sinama-sama ko. Pagkatapos, Sunday, hindi ako pumunta sa church. Sabi ko, ikaw ngayon ang mag-preach dyan. Sabi niya, paano pastor? Kung hindi mo alam, Tumayo ka lang doon, umiyak ka, tama na. <laughs> Pero, pinagpala ng Panginoon. Alam ninyo, nung walis ako doon, siya yung pastor na nakalagay na doon sa kanilang church. Hanggang ngayon, siya pa rin yung pastor doon. Ang maganda na develop, naging leaders na siya ng section. Praise God. Hallelujah. Who knows? Sino makakaalam sa atin na uh, bigla na lang mag i yung isang tao? Praise God. Hallelujah. That's the will of God. We need to know. Hallelujah. Paul did not encourage the Colossians believers to seek vision or wait for voices. He prayed that they might get deeper into God's word and thus have greater wisdom and insight concerning God's will. Amen. Hallelujah. So we need we need to study the word of God. Kailangan ng mga alamin natin sa lita ng Panginoon ah, kung paano natin sasabihin. Ah, eh, salita ka ng salita, wala naman pala doon yung salita ng Panginoon. Sabihin mo na lang, that's Nestor version. Ah, di ba? According to Nestor version. Ah, di ba? Gagawa ka na sa video. Mamaya, sa 
sa mga hostage chair. Hmm. So, but they would have, um, uh, he wanted them to have all wisdom that they would know everything. Amen. Hallelujah. So, he wanted them to have all wisdom not they would know everything. Amen. Gusto kasi natin, alamin natin lahat. Sabi mo, panalangin mo na lang, Lord, give me wisdom. Binigyan hmm. ka ng Panginoon, wisdom tip. <laughs> Pinagtagal, sabi ng doktor, tagalin na rin yan. O, di, wala ka ng wisdom tip. <laughs> So, spiritual intelligence is the beginning of success. Fruitful Christian life. Second Peter chapter 3, verse 18. Hallelujah. What it says in Second Peter chapter 3, verse 18, But grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To Him be the glory of both now and to the day of eternity. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So, tignan mo, pati ang Panginoon, nag-aamin sa kanyang salita. Diba? Praise God. We need to grow. Hallelujah. God will prepare everything that we need to grow and to become mature. Amen. The next is he prayed for practical obedience. Amen. He prayed for practical obedience. A Christian life, knowledge, and obedience together. Wisdom and practical intelligence go together. What is in Colossians chapter uh, 1 verse 10. Tignan muna natin doon yung, yung Colossians chapter uh, 10. Uh, chapter 1 verse 10. So that you may walk worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing to Him, very forth in every good works, and growing in the knowledge of God. Hallelujah. He prayed for practical obedience. Praise God. So, we will go to the next. So, Christian life, knowledge, and obedience go together. Wisdom and practical intelligence go together. The problem of head knowledge. Ito na. Yung case study natin, mga kapatid. We have the case study about the problem of had knowledge. If you have had knowledge only, I have knowing everything in my mind. Ano kaya mo nyayari sa inyo? Sinasabi mo pa lang, alam ko na lahat. Hindi ko na kayo pakikinggan. I stand alone because I have the head knowledge. Pagkaling ako. Pero kung hindi ko alam ang lahat ng mga bagay, kailangan ko kayo. Amen? We need each other. If you have health knowledge, meron siyang matangga. Pwede po ba nang magkagustahin sa akin sa bahay mo? Sabi niya sa akin, Pastor, hindi ko na kailangan ang magtuturo sa akin. Magaling na ako, sabi niya. Ah, ganun ba? Okay. Pinausap ko siya, pinausap ko siya, dunta kami sa international talking. Pagka-international talking, kung ano-ano na saan kami nakakarating, biglang nagtanong sa akin yung matanda. Hindi ba sinabi mo kanina, alam mo na lahat, magtatanong ka sa akin. No need to answer, sabi ko sa kanya. Bigla siya natawan, sabi niya, Pastor, pwede ba, pwede ko sa tayo sa bahay. Wow! Hallelujah! Praise God! Kaya nakukuha sila sa mga sinasabi nila. Ha? Don't argue with them. Sumama ka doon sa kanilang sinasabi. Pagdating doon sa problema, kasabihin nila, kailangan kita. Hmm. Diba? 
<laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. Minsan, sabi ni Mrs. sa akin, I can manage myself. Okay, you can manage yourself. I'm sitting down, I'm watching her. And then suddenly, what are you doing? You can manage yourself. Go. Umiyak na siya. Nag-recollection na siya. Nung lumiling ka pa sa akin, ganito ganito. Pag lumiling ka pa sa akin, ganito ganito. Balik na ang panliligaw. Sabi ko, nagdami ko yung panliligaw. Hindi siya isa na niya yung mga ganda kung ginagawa nung nanliligaw. Ang nagdaragad ako, nandun ka sa likod ko, daladala mo yung mga ganito kong daladala! Kailangan ko ng tubig, di ko pa sinasabi hanggang na yung tubig! Mula nung nalilipin siya, sabi niya sa akin, I can manage myself. Okay. Sinabayaan ko nga, bigla siyang umambyo. I go, okay, let's do it again. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So we need. Hallelujah. They get big head and start creating problems in their homes and churches. Kaya nagkakaroon ng maraming problema ng iglesia. Kailangan natin si Titus para uh, uh, i-organize niya lang. Praise God. Hallelujah. If we are growing in knowledge, we should also grow in grace. According to 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 8, as we have uh, read before. Hallelujah. So, uh, we need we need to balance hallelujah if we have had knowledge kailangan mo natin panghawakan yan at uh, i-control amen kasi nagkakaroon tayo ng maraming problema kapag yan ang umirad so the next is <clears throat> two words summarize the practical practicality of the Christian life are walk and work. Yeah. Walk and work. First, wisdom and then walk, then work. Hallelujah. You have wisdom, you walk with the Lord, and you will work for the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. I cannot work for God unless I am walking with Him. Amen. Hallelujah. But I can. I cannot walk with him if I am ignorant of his will. Anong ginagawa mo? Hindi ko alam ang gagawin ko eh. Hindi maupo na lang ako. So, anong gagawin mo pag hindi mo na alam? Konsulta ka sa nakakaalam. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Ang, ang problema, alam, alam mo na lahat eh. Bakit hindi mo naman na magawa-gawa yung sasakyan mo? Akala ko, alam ko lahat eh. <laughs> yung baki, hindi ko talagang eh. Ayan. Ginawa ko naman na, pero sira pa rin. Ayan. <laughs> eh, hindi ka pala, hindi, hindi pala mekani ko eh, sirani ko pala eh. <laughs> uh, so, but I cannot walk with him if I am in the rank of his will. We need to know. Amen. Praise God. We need to know. Even Paul, that I may know him more and more. Hallelujah. So next, we should walk worthy of our calling. Patience 4 verse 1. Hallelujah. Uh, we will walk worthy of God. Uh, Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 12. As we spend time with God, we get to understand Him and this will for our lives as, and as we go out to obey Him and learn more. Hallelujah. Praise God. The Lord will bless us as we 
walk worthy of our calling. Ephesians 4 verse 1. Ano ba ang sinasabi ng Ephesians 4 verse 1? We will see. I, therefore, the prisoner in the Lord, urge you to walk worthy of all of the calling you have received. Amen. Hallelujah. Tignan mo yung encouragement ni Paul. Sabi niya, I, therefore, the prisoner in the Lord. Nilalagay na yung title ni Pablo sa kanyang sarili dahil lagi siyang nakukulong. So sabi niya, the prisoner in the Lord urge you to walk worthy of the calling you have received. Amen. Dito kasi nakikita yung pagka-apostol ni Pablo. Dito na a-identify yung pagka-apostol ni Pablo kaya ang sabi niya ay therefore the prisoner in the Lord. He did not directly said I the apostle of the Lord. The identity of Paul always going to jail. That's why he said the prisoner in the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. I urge you to walk worthy of the calling you have received. Amen. Hallelujah. We walk worthy. And then sa, sa, sa next one, sa na verse. Uh, Philippians 1.27 uh, Philippians, Thessalonians uh, We encourage, comforted, comforted, and implore this one of you to walk worthy of God who calls you in his own kingdom and glory. This is the admonition of Paul. Walk worthy of God. Amen. Hallelujah. This is the appeal of Paul. We encourage you. Hallelujah. We comforted you. We implore, implore each one of you to walk worthy of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. And the next one is um, as we spend time with God, we get to understand Him and His will for our lives. And as we go out to obey Him and learn more. Amen. Next. He prayed for moral excellence. Wow. Hallelujah. He prayed for moral excellence. Verse 11 to 12. Wisdom and conduct should be related to moral character. We should develop our personal character. Amen. Hallelujah. What is in Colossians chapter 1 verse 11 to 12? For, for, for May you be strengthened with all power according to his glorious might for all endurance and patience with joy, giving thanks to the Father who has enabled you to share in the same inheritance in the light. Hallelujah. Praise God. Glory to God. As we walk with God and work for God, we get to know Him better and better. As we spend time with God, we get to understand Him Hallelujah, and His will for our lives. Mm -hmm. And as we go out to obey Him, we learn more. Hallelujah. Praise God. So knowledge, that service, and character must always go together. Hallelujah. Praise God. It is God's energy that empowers us. Hallelujah. Ito yung gusto-gusto ko sa Panginoon eh. Kaya po pa ba, sabi ng Panginoon, para mong lulupay tayo na ako, Lord eh. Sige nga, sabi ng Panginoon. Pagpapalayan niya kita kung di ka ma-energize. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. 
Minsan, nang baybayin ako eh. I'm also discouraged. Minsan. But thank God, doon sa aking discouragement, kung minsan may tumatawag sa akin na pasto, yung discouragement ko, ang babaw lang, yung discouragement niya, ang lalim na, ang lalim-lalim na, sabi ko, ang babaw yung discouragement ko, nag-discourage ako, pero ito ang lalim. Sabi ko, kailangan ma-booster ko. Ayan, amen. Pag na-booster na ako, tatawagan ko niya, o kung saan ka na, okay lang pasto. Na-encourage ka na, hindi pa nga pastor eh. Sige, tuloy mo na huwag ka nang mag maglipot sa Panginoon. Ay, hindi ako pastor. Sabi niya, kaya, o kaya mo ko pala eh. Sabi niya. <laughs> Kung minsan, itulak mo, parang sa ganun, aanggap siya. <laughs> word of wisdom. Amen. Hallelujah. The word patience means endurance when circumstances are difficult. Hallelujah. Amen. And the next is, patience is important. Character of the maturing Christian. Romans 5, 3, verse 4. We will see the Romans chapter 5, verse 4. In the Bible, tayo dyan. And not only that, but we also rejoice in our affliction. Because we know that affliction produces endurance. May pinupong Diyos pala ito? We will see the, produ the, 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 the reproduce of this. Uh, Mayroon mo pala parang production ito eh. Yeah. Endurance produces proven character. And proven character produces hope. Sino pa ba ang ayaw ng affliction? Sino pa ba ang ayaw ng sufferings? Hmm. The purpose of suffering is this. Because we know that affliction produces endurance. Manalangin ka, Lord, give me more patience. Ah, Ibigyan ka talaga ng Panginoon. Ang tigas na niya sa ulo mo, anak ko! Amen. Eh, develop na yung patience mo eh. Di ba? Oh, proven character. And proven character produces hope. Wala tayong talo. Amen. We are all victorious. Amen. Hallelujah. O, balik tayo doon. Paul prayed for Colossians. Christian might experience joyful patience and long suffering. We have the patience, we have the long suffering, but we don't have joy. That's why the prayer of Paul, including the joy and the patience and long suffering. The long suffering with joy. The patience with joy. Na anus kamat ng awan lang tirak sa mo. Na gamit dogi ang anus mo ng awan tirak tirak sa mo. Di ba? So, Paul including joy in the patience, joy in the long suffering. Amen. Hallelujah. So nga, uray mo ka sa anong kirigrigan mo, umuwi sa mga. Amen. Hallelujah. Pero malasin mo, ngising asaw. Hallelujah. Hey, nalahadote mo tan, naimasak mo tan. Next. Paul prayed that they might grow in their own thanksgiving to God. Panalangin ni Pablo that they may grow in their own thanksgiving to God. We need to grow in our thanksgiving to God. Amen? May mga tao na maraming nagbibigay ng papasalamat sa Panginoon pero hindi sila nag-grow. Kasi ang alam na nila magpasalamat eh. Nag-grow ka ba sa thanksgiving mo? Hindi eh. Diba? Hindi tayo nag-grow. But we need to grow in our thanksgiving to God. The Christian life should abound with thanksgiving. Our prayer should always include thanksgiving. Let us see Colossians chapter 1 verse 1. Giving thanks to the Father 
who has enabled you to share in the saints inheritance in the light Amen. you should be giving thanks to your father hallelujah kaya si Pablo ang isang niyang panalangin yung kanilang pagbibigay ng pasasalamat kailangan silang lumago Amen. kung minsan we are growing in our singing praise him praise him Praise Him in the morning, praise Him in the noontime, praise Him. Maganda, huwag na kung mga problema. In our peace living, sometimes we neglect. Sometimes we did not see the goodness of our God. And since we get things, we complain. Hallelujah. Praise God. Glory to God. Next. Day by day, we claim our blessing and this makes us even more thankful to the Lord. Next, Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Sinurusurwan na ni Pastor Alpi kami nga, agaramin ka ng Pikas Tiglet. Okay, agaramin ka ng mga outline ko. Hallelujah. Awa na eh. Ay! <laughs> Glory to God. Okay. As we review this prayer, we can see how penetrating it is. We need the spiritual intelligence if we are going to please God. We also need practical obedience in our walk and work but that the result of this must be spiritual power that leads to joyful patience and long suffering with thanksgiving amen hallelujah we have the knowledge sometimes but we need not use for god's glory hallelujah we are having the practical obedience but in our own way but in our own way. So we need, we need the wisdom of the Lord. This is the prayer of a prisoner. He prayed, he prayed for spiritual intelligence. He prayed for practical obedience. He prayed or moral excellence as we walk as we work for God's kingdom we need to uh, know him better and better we need to know his will in our life kung tatanungin tayo ano ang will ng Panginoong Diyos sa atin do you have also will and we understand the will. Uh, alam natin ito. Naiintindihan natin ito. Pero kung minsan, we did not know how to apply. Kung minsan, ayaw natin gawin. Kung minsan, pinababayaan natin. Let us try to search ourselves today. Hallelujah. Can we sing the song Lord, I lift your name on high. Hallelujah. Lord, I lift your name on
Hallelujah. Blessed be, blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sometimes we do not know. In times of decision making, Lord. Oh, yes. But give us wisdom, Lord. Oh, to deal any problem that we have. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for your word today. As we go, Lord, we pray, O oh God, for spiritual understanding, yes. knowledge and wisdom comes from you, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So that every time that we make decision, we, deci we decide for your glory, O oh God. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. O oh God, as we walk, and work with you, Lord. Make us worthy, O God. Make us worthy, O God. And cleanse us by the blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Lord. Hallelujah. Blessed be, blessed be the Lord. Come, 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 Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, we are always here and receiving messages about Israel, about Gaza, about Hamas. Hallelujah. Always I'm asking myself, Lord, I am really, really ready for your coming. My life is worthy. This is my prayer. And I'm always searching myself. Every time that I've been reading about the second coming of the Lord, about the rapture, am I ready to praise my God? I am ready to meet my Savior. I am ready and worthy to meet my Savior. We need to prepare ourselves. Hallelujah. Yes. We need to prepare ourselves. Be prepared to meet our God. Hallelujah. Be prepared for the rapture of the saints. Hallelujah. We need to be worthy in the sight of God. We need to walk and work for the Lord and work for Him. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you so much, Lord. Father God, we give all the glory, honor, and praise unto you. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your thoughts. Hallelujah. Lord, we are not praying for head knowledge, but wisdom comes from you. That you will be glorified in our lives. Hallelujah. And we surrender ourselves before you. We surrender our body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto you, Lord. Make us always humble before you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Lord. And we give all the glory, honor, and praise to you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor. At kami nabusok sa 
salita ng Diyos at thank you pastor at kami ay pinasaya mo ngayong araw salamat sa pagbabahagi mo sa salita ng Panginoon at ang dami, kami, ang dami naming kapag-aralan ngayon so thank you, thank you pastor thank you and can I call on brother Percy for the exhortation Good evening, brethren. Uh, this is uh, one part of our service. It's uh, giving our tithes and offering. So, uh, the verse that I want to share with you is Exodus 23, verse 19. In Exodus chapter 23, verse 19. So, before we go there, uh, I just want to share with you our exhortation in Brooks. Amen? Amen. So, our, our, our exhortation in, in Brooks is about the offering. I mean, the message in Brooks is, is about tithing and offering. So, according to Exodus, Exodus chapter 13, uh, after the Israelites came out of Egypt, the Lord uh, commanded them to uh, give the first fruit every first fruit of every move is the Lord. So that is tithing. So the reason why God commanded them to give every first fruit is to remember that day when Pharaoh when Pharaoh uh, did not let them go go out of Egypt, God killed every firstborn in Egypt. So this is the reason why they moved out of Egypt. So so when the Israelite is already in the Canaan or in the Promised Land, God told, told them again, every uh, first fruit of the womb is mine. That is again tithing. Amen? So that is again tithing. And God said to them, when your sons ask you why we are doing this, tell them, remind them that they will remember the day that I brought you out of Egypt when Pharaoh refused to let me go. To let you go, I killed all the firstborn in Egypt. So we can see in here that by their tithing is a sign of the deliverance from Egypt. So in verse, in the verse that we read, verses, Exodus chapter 23, verse 19, it says here, Bring the best of the first fruit of, the, of your soil to the house of the Lord your God. This is again tithing. Bring the best of the first fruit of your soil for to the house of the Lord your God. You must not boil a young goat in its mother's milk. So when I research that, you must not boil a young goat in a mother's milk. Uh, when I research that, I found out that the culture in Canaan and other neighboring countries, their culture has when the young goat is born, they squeeze the mother's breast, they remove all the, the milk, they put in the pan the milk, they boil the milk, I mean they boil the milk when it's boiling, they put the baby goat there. That's their culture. Because they believe by doing that, uh, by doing boiling the goats in the, in the mother's milk, they believe that there is a blessing in there. That's their culture in Canaan. And what they do is they get the milk, when it's called, they sprinkle it to their houses, to their farms, to their cattle, in everything. So that they believe that they will be blessed. But God told them, don't do that. What do we do? Bring the best of the first fruit of your soil. Keep your tithe and I will bless you. Don't do what you see the Canaanites are doing. Don't do that. Give your time and I will bless you. Amen? That's what the Lord is saying in here. So God brought us here to the land of flowing with milk and honey as we said. By that, the culture in here, work 16 hours and you have everything. But God is saying in here, bring your tithes, I will bless you. Amen. See, Pastor Nestor is already testifying. <laughs> four days of work, 
can pay everything. Praise God. Extend our faith like our pastor. Amen. <laughs> Let our faith walk. Not on a stationary. Let it walk and run. So praise God for His word. Let's pray. And Father God, we thank you, Lord, for teaching us to give. Hallelujah, because we believe that your words are true, Father God, that true giving will bless us, O oh God, will bless the work of our hands. We pray also that bless our employers, Father, that that you accompany us at the door, O God, that you are with us, Father, na at trabaho kami ako, Jesus, na may sabot ako iti provision ni iti nagdawal daw, managdawa ako, Jesus, and we thank you, Jesus, this offering, Father God, for the fatherless of your kingdom. We say yes in Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Bro, your pastor, that the offering so me, so can I call the hands?
Gracias.